Welcome to Historical English Explorer, your daily guide to mastering English. In today's episode, you will learn new English words and sentences, and I will help you memorize them effectively through listening, speaking, and repetition. In today's story, we will discover Ken and his life in Canada. After a long flight, my plane finally landed in Ottawa, the capital of Canada. I stepped off the plane, feeling a whirlwind of excitement and nervousness. The airport buzzed with activity, and English conversations filled the air. It was a real moment to put my language skills to the test. Walking through the airport, I observed everything is so different from home. The signs, written in English and French, demanded my full attention to navigate correctly. The air outside was colder and crisper than what I was accustomed to in Japan. I hailed a taxi, a new experience for me, and said to the driver, please take me to this address, showing him a piece of paper with my new apartment's location. As we drove through Ottawa, I was glued to the window, captivated by the sights. The streets here are so wide and the trees are beautiful in their fall colors, I thought, comparing them to the dense urban landscape of my hometown. Reaching my new apartment, I found it to be cozy, with one bedroom, high ceilings, and a large window that bathed the room in light. It's smaller than homes in Japan, but feels welcoming, I mused, taking in the simplicity of the furnishings. The silence of the neighborhood struck me immediately. Accustomed to the constant hum of my bustling city back home, the quiet here was profound. I can actually hear the wind, I realized, a rare experience for me. As I arranged my personal items around the apartment, placing a small Japanese flag on a shelf and family photos on a table, it began to feel more like home. Yet, with the initial excitement fading, a sense of loneliness crept in. Everything is so different. The language, the people, the scenery, I acknowledged, feeling daunted by the prospect of navigating daily life in a new language. Sitting on my couch that first evening, staring out at the quiet street, I felt incredibly far from everything familiar. But I reminded myself, I'm here to work, learn, and grow. I knew the feeling of being an outsider was just the first step on this journey. Lying in bed that night in my new foreign apartment, I promised myself I will embrace every new experience, learn from the differences, and find beauty in this new place. Despite the overwhelming sense of being alone in a vast, unfamiliar world, I was determined. I'm in Ottawa to start my new life, and I'm going to make the most of it. These simple, reflective sentences capture the essence of adapting to a new environment and are designed to be memorable for English learners, helping them practice expressions of feelings, observations, and resolutions in their journey of language acquisition. And now moving to the fun part, and let's practice together. Repeat after me. After a long flight, after a long flight, my plane finally landed in Ottawa. My plane finally landed in Ottawa, the capital of Canada. The capital of Canada. I stepped off the plane. I stepped off the plane feeling a whirlwind of excitement and nervousness. Feeling a whirlwind of excitement and nervousness. The airport buzzed with activity. The airport buzzed with activity. 
and English conversations filled the air. And English conversations filled the air. It was a real moment to It was a real moment to put my language skills to the test. Put my language skills to the test. Walking through the airport, I observed Walking through the airport, I observed Everything is so different from home. Everything is so different from home. The signs written in English and French. The signs written in English and French demanded my full attention. Demanded my full attention to navigate correctly. To navigate correctly. The air outside was colder and crisper. The air outside was colder and crisper than what I was accustomed to in Japan. Than what I was accustomed to in Japan. I hailed a taxi. I hailed a taxi. A new experience for me. A new experience for me. And said to the driver, and said to the driver, please take me to this address. Please take me to this address. Showing him a piece of paper, showing him a piece of paper with my new apartment's location. With my new apartment's location. As we drove through Ottawa. As we drove through Ottawa. I was glued to the window. I was glued to the window. Captivated by the sights. Captivated by the sights. The streets here are so wide. The streets here are so wide, and the trees are beautiful in their fall colors. And the trees are beautiful in their fall colors. I thought, I thought, comparing them to the dense urban landscape of my hometown. Comparing them to the dense urban landscape of my hometown. Reaching my new apartment. Reaching my new apartment. I found it to be cozy. I found it to be cozy. With one bedroom, high ceilings. With one bedroom, high ceilings, and a large window that bathed the room in light. And a large window that bathed the room in light. It's smaller than homes in Japan, but feels welcoming, I mused. It's smaller than homes in Japan, but feels welcoming, I mused. Taking in the simplicity of the furnishings. Taking in the simplicity of the furnishings. The silence of the neighborhood struck me immediately. The silence of the neighborhood struck me immediately. Accustomed to the constant hum. Accustomed to the constant hum of my bustling city back home. 
of my bustling city back home. The quiet here was profound. The quiet here was profound. I can actually hear the wind, I realized. I can actually hear the wind, I realized. A rare experience for me. A rare experience for me. As I arranged my personal items around the apartment. As I arranged my personal items around the apartment. Placing a small Japanese flag on a shelf. Placing a small Japanese flag on a shelf. And family photos on a table. And family photos on a table. It began to feel more like home. It began to feel more like home. Yet, with the initial excitement fading, yet, with the initial excitement fading, a sense of loneliness crept in. A sense of loneliness crept in. Everything is so different. Everything is so different. The language, the people, the scenery, I acknowledged. The language, the people, the scenery, I acknowledged. Feeling daunted by the prospect. Feeling daunted by the prospect of navigating daily life in a new language. Of navigating daily life in a new language. Sitting on my couch that first evening. Sitting on my couch that first evening. Staring out at the quiet street. Staring out at the quiet street. I felt incredibly far. I felt incredibly far. From everything familiar. From everything familiar. But I reminded myself. But I reminded myself. I'm here to work, learn, and grow. I'm here to work, learn, and grow. I knew the feeling of being an outsider. I knew the feeling of being an outsider was just the first step on this journey. Was just the first step on this journey. Lying in bed that night. Lying in bed that night. In my new foreign apartment. In my new foreign apartment. I promised myself. I promised myself, I will embrace every new experience. I will embrace every new experience. Learn from the differences. Learn from the differences. And find beauty in this new place. And find beauty in this new place. Despite the overwhelming sense of being alone. Despite the overwhelming sense of being alone. In a vast, unfamiliar world, I was determined. In a vast, unfamiliar world, I was determined. 
I'm in Ottawa to start my new life, and I'm going to make the most of it. I'm in Ottawa to start my new life, and I'm going to make the most of it. These simple, reflective sentences These simple, reflective sentences capture the essence of adapting to a new environment. Capture the essence of adapting to a new environment and are designed to be memorable for English learners. And are designed to be memorable for English learners. Helping them practice expressions of feelings. Helping them practice expressions of feelings. Observations, observations, and resolutions in their journey of language acquisition. And resolutions in their journey of language acquisition. It's time to explore some English vocabulary and expressions from the story we've just covered to enrich your language skills. The first word is driver. A driver is a person who drives a vehicle, like a car, bus, or truck. Example, the driver of the taxi took Ken from the airport to his new home in Ottawa. The second word is bedroom. A bedroom is a room in a house where people sleep. Example, in his new apartment, Ken's bedroom had a big bed and a window where he could see the stars at night. The third word is the silence. The silence means no sound. It is very quiet. Example, at night, Ken noticed the silence in Ottawa was different from his busy city in Japan. It was very quiet. The fourth word is different. Different means not the same. It can be used to talk about things that are not like each other. Example, Ken found the weather in Canada to be different from Japan. It was much colder. The fifth word is I'm going to, I'm going to, is used to talk about something you plan to do in the future. Example, Ken said, I'm going to explore more of Canada and see different places. Let's do a simple fill-in-the-blank exercise with the words. Now, fill in the blanks with the right word from the list. This exercise should help you practice and remember these words in a simple way.